is your chance to flaunt your vast knowledge in all subjects from geography to entertainment to even sports and everything in between. Trivia with a twist helps to create brighter futures for students with autism. And here to talk about this special event is Paul Garcher and Eddie Moransky. Good afternoon Hello. to you Good both. afternoon. And Thanks thank for having you us. for yeah. joining us. Thank you. So a lot of people out there, they love trivia. How long have you guys been doing this event? Uh, nine years. So nine, yeah. nine, nine years. Nine. It used to be exclusively sports. We changed it a couple years ago to include pop culture, history, a couple other categories to kind of broaden our base, but that's a lot of fun. Yeah, and you guys, uh, you've been doing this for nine years, and it's such a popular event that they're already sold out. We are, tickets. yeah. 35 tables, a new <gasps> record, so... Yeah, next year if you want in, uh, get in early. And I'm sure get some of the early. teams around town still not, might be looking to fill a couple seats. So. All right, well, do you guys get in on any of the trivia? So I write the we questions. So that's questions. a labor of love. I've been doing that for a while. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's a lot of fun. And um, But no, the, the trivia committee has to stay sequestered, right. so they do not participate. But, I love uh, right. that. It's fun. And this is not only fun, it's a huge fundraiser for potential development. Tell us, yeah. what does this mean to you guys? It raises great money for potential development. We are a, a full-blown educational uh, school system for students with autism. Um, kicked off the year with over 280 students. It's an all-time high for us. Uh, and money from events like this just go right into the classroom uh, with continued increase in enrollment, um, purchasing supplies, getting things that kids need for, for school. Uh, this event is a great help for that. All right. So with an event like this, which is, of course, a lot of fun, it's not all trivia, guys. There's going to be food. Talk about that. This yeah. is involved, okay? It's a, yeah, it's a, <laughs> definitely. It's out at the, the Lake Club in Poland. Yeah. And a great meal uh, for everybody, open bar. And um, we do um, a great chance auction with over uh, 3,000 in prizes for that. We do a great silent auction. And then we also have some games um, uh, to uh, pop a shot, cornhole, fun games like that on the side as well yeah. with some other prizes. So that's... A lot, of no, a, lot, a lot going on. Yeah, so a great fundraiser. So since we, you know, if you missed this event and you're not one of those, what, 35 yes. mm -hmm. groups that will be uh, taking part in trivia, do we have other opportunities or ways to donate to potential d development, like on uh, your absolutely website? Absolutely, throughout the year, yes. You can visit our website. We always have uh, things going on at the school, in the classrooms. Uh, different events throughout the year, so just visit the website. And pizza cook-off being pizza another cook big off one, yeah. Come up in the spring. Oh yeah, is it is our another big fundraiser for us? So okay, a lot of good chances. I love that. So before I let you guys go, what's your favorite category in trivia? What are you good at? Sports for me. Yeah. Sports for you. The movie's not far behind. But that's <laughs> okay. what those are. Love writing questions on those two. It's nice. fun. Yeah. I'd have to lean towards sports. Sports? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, I would need you guys on my team <laughs> yeah. when it comes to sports. Thank you both for joining us this afternoon. Mahoning Valley Trivia with a twist is Thursday, September 21st, 6 p.m. at the Lake Club. Of course, if you're not one of those teams, you can still donate to Potential Development. Just check out their website, and there's a donate button right there on their website. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you, Thank you for having us. Alrighty, Appreciate we'll have more of the midday after the break.